Hey guys, HMK here back again with another daily dose of Zelda hype for Breath of the Wild. We are so close, man. Almost 20 days away from Breath of the Wild. I can't believe it. And also, less than 1,500 subs away from 100k. If I hit that goal before March, I'm giving away an Nintendo Switch. Check that out. And be sure to check out my existing Breath of the Wild giveaway, which I'm giving away three copies of the game. Everything you need to know, description box below. That being said, let's get into today's video. And this video does have, I would say, the lightest sprinkling of spoilers. Because uh, Aji Onoma, when he was interviewed, uh, Aji Onoma and Shigeru Miyamoto, when they were interviewed by Game Informer for like 51 questions, which is hilarious. I really recommend you guys watching that. I'll leave a uh, source link in the description box below. But uh, this has ever so slight spoilers about the timeline placement of Breath of the Wild. They left us another clue. No, it's not confirmed. I'm saying right now the direct actual timeline placement has not been confirmed but they gave us another clue and it's actually a pretty hard clue that's why i said it's you know a wide spoiler right and you know everyone's like tearing their heads off on twitter and stuff i'm like oh my god confirmed i'm like it's not confirmed and what he said spoilers remember if you don't want to hear this click out the video but what uh anuma and mimo said is that breath of the wild has been confirmed to take place after ocarina of time and now, uh, of course, that, you know, throws anything before Ocarina Time out the window. A lot of people say it might be a, a sequel to Skyward Sword. That's thrown out the window, uh, confirmed. But now, we don't really have a timeline placement because Ocarina of Time is the beginning of the split for all three, uh, the other three timelines. And now everyone's tearing their heads off and saying, like, yeah, timeline confirmed. It's not confirmed, guys. Not yet. We got another clue. We have another direction to point into, but it's not confirmed yet. And, you know, it comes to saying that, like, of course, I knew was gonna say it was gonna take place after Ocarina of Time because if he said it took, um, if he was asked if it took place any other game after Ocarina of Time, uh, he wouldn't say like, oh, it's a secret because you know he said before that he wants us to discover the timeline placement as we play the game and it will be heavily apparent, you know, because if he said any other game after Ocarina of Time, that will basically confirm Breath of the Wild for that specific timeline. So, of course, he's not going to do that. It just tells us it's after Ocarina of Time. We still don't know what timeline placement it is. And, you know, people are just like, yo! And I'm like, guys, relax, relax, relax. I mean, this is another great clue, and I'm really excited, and I'm still banking on my theory, which is after Four Swords Adventures in the Child timeline. But uh, all of you like, oh, this confirms that time. It doesn't confirm this time. It confirms the adult time. It does not confirm the adult time. All it confirms is that it takes place after the split. Uh, and Ocarina of Time, you know, that's that's where the split happens. You know, so with everyone just just saying this stuff, I'm like, it doesn't confirm anything. All, I've, all it does confirm is that uh, it's definitely not taking place after before Skyward Sword or after before any other games after that, which includes Minish Cap and Four Swords, right? So, we still know that the game's coming out after our career time, but we don't know which timeline placement is that. And, you know, I'm not talking about everybody, but man, when it comes to those uh, discussions, they get really heated on the timeline thing, and I'm just here, I'm just like eating my popcorn, I'm like, this is what I believe, I'm willing to debate, if we cool, we cool, okay, we cool. And then we also have the people that believe that um, all three timelines are going to fall on top of each other and become reunified again with each, uh, the end of each timeline, adult, child, and downfall are going to recombine into one singular timeline to reunify the timeline with Breath of the Wild. And, uh, you know, a very popular concept that, you know, supports that is Dragon Break. So, that every time I hear that, this is what I think. See this button? Don't touch it! It's the history eraser button, you fool! So what'll happen? That's just it. We don't know. Maybe something bad. Maybe something good. I guess we'll never know. Now, I already gave my reasons why I think it, uh, it wouldn't work, but I mean, video games did it before, and, you know, everything is really off and on the table when it comes to Breath of the Wild with the Zelda team saying that, oh, forget everything you know, so I mean, like... I can only theorize and go with what I know and what I see that's presented to me. And honestly, I do believe that Dragon Break concept, like a reunification of the timeline, is a bit out of the question. But if it happens, I'll take my L once again. Fucking reball. But yeah. Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild. We have confirmed that Breath of the Wild will take place after Ocarina of Time. 
We don't know how long. We don't know when. Uh, people are believing that's right after Ocarina of Time. That's not possible because the split happens at the end of Ocarina of Time. If you were to be placed after Ocarina of Time, you would have to be placed in one of the three timelines split after the unified timeline. It's not like, okay, yeah, Skyward Sword, Minish Cap, Four Swords, Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, then split. It doesn't really happen like that. Hey there, Hyplings. This portion of the video was not part of the original thought because here is where I get a theory crawling into my head mid-recording and it kind of spins out of control. And yeah, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you already know what kind of shit show went down. So what you're about to hear after I unfreeze this video is a big theory concerning Breath of the Wild and the timeline placement. And it will have a follow-up video, which I'm working on right now, literally right now as you're hearing this, I'm working on it right now, to have a video follow-up on this thought right after this video. So I hope you're looking forward to that, and enjoy. Alright, let's get back to it. Although... Although... I will say this right now. Although... It could be possible... And I just thought of this. I mean, a lot of people were saying this, but I just thought... It could be possible that... Nintendo could decide to do a fourth timeline, but not in the way that you think I'm just gonna say a fourth timeline where they just, you know, and I read articles about this, that they throw away the timeline split completely and just be like, okay, Skyward Sword, or uh, Minish Cap, Four Swords, Arcane Time, then Breath of the Wild, and then just keep going in a straight narrow path after that. It's all like, oh, it could split or it can't split, but that, you know, that's weird. How would it, like, thinking about that, like, how would it not split? Because then we'll have to talk about the what caused the split in the first place, and that's, you know, sending Link back to the past, or Link failing. So, if it were to happen that they decided, or Link decided to stay in the, time, in, in, in the adult timeline, that's what I'm going to say, the adult timeline. If he decided to stay in the adult timeline, that is where Breath of the Wild could possibly go. And that could make sense because, I mean, like, the downfall timeline is definitely a what's, what if situation where, like, oh, this is what happens if he died. So these are the games. But they can also have a situation where it's like, oh, this is what happens if Link decides to stay. This is what happens, and it's Breath of the Wild. So, ladies and gentlemen, think about that. Cue the Twilight Zone music. No, the, the X-File music. So yeah, it could happen. I did say I wasn't going to do another timeline placement theory after my last one, but I mean, I might just make a video on it. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what you think about this revelation in the description box below. Everything you need to know about the, uh, I just said description box again. Comment section, leave your thoughts, theories, and everything in the comments below. And everything else in the description box that you need to know about the Breath of the Wild giveaway and the Nintendo Switch giveaway is there. So guys, until next Zelda video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.